Hello, and welcome to my video presentation of the customer's list, which was my capstone project for Dev Code Camp's Web Developer Bootcamp. My name is Chris Krieg. I am 50 years old, and I got into coding a few years ago, just kind of as a hobby, um, taking a couple of YouTube video tutorials and such. And earlier this year, I decided to get serious about it. So I went to a coding boot camp to kind of get really in the thick of things. And I'm hoping to do this full time in the future. The technologies that I use for this application on the back end, I use JavaScript, Express.js, Node.js, and Mongoose ODM. On the front end, I use JavaScript, React.js, HTML, and then CSS and Bootstrap for styling. I also used Postman to check to make sure that the back end was working correctly, GitHub for version and source control, and the GeoCoder API to turn addresses into coordinates. For the database, I chose to use MongoDB, which is a relational database. The application is called the customers list, and it's an application that allows people to write reviews for contractors that have performed work for them, and then other users can read those reviews and determine if they would like to use that same contractor based on that review. I created this application in a mobile first format since I figure most of my customer base are going to be using cell phones. Now we'll get started by registering a user. And then as we enter a password, if you notice in the confirmation block, it shows up in red, indicating the passwords do not match. And as soon as they match, it turns green. We'll enter an address that's kind of far away so that I can demonstrate how it filters based on location. Okay, and then we're all done, we'll hit submit. And now we're logged in. When you log in, it takes you to the home screen where it says welcome and then your username and then shows you a list of all the reviews that are within 50 miles of your registered address. The reviews contain the date that the work was performed, the category of work, the name of the contractor and the contractor's phone number, the username of the reviewer, and the location that the work was conducted, title for review, a star rating, the review itself, and then the contractor is al allowed to provide a response to re the review. If the reviewer shows up as a hyperlink, then that means you can send that person a message about the review if you have more questions. So, as I scroll down, you'll notice in the location block here that all the locations show up as Allen, Texas, because the location that I chose is roughly about 40 miles away from Allen. And that'll be important here in just a minute. So I'm now going to log out of this test account and log in under a different account. Okay, so in this account here, this user, which is me, has chosen to upload a profile photo, photo. And you'll notice there's a filter button here. I can use that to filter out the reviews. So if I only wanted to see reviews based on a handyman or say concrete asphalt, I can do that. Those are the only kind of reviews you'll see where you can go back to none to see all the reviews. Now, earlier I said to pay attention to the location block, being Allen, Texas for that test account. 
So I'm just going to scroll down through here and you'll notice that now we start seeing reviews that were done in Dallas, Texas that did not show up under the test account because that test account is 51 miles away from Dallas. So it filters those out. All right, so another thing to notice, since this review was created by me, the person is currently logged in, I have buttons down here to change or upload a photo for the review or edit the review. So if I click on edit review, I can come in here, I could change the name of the contractor, the phone number, the category, the date, different title. Say I want to give them five stars, we'll just do five stars and submit. And then you notice it went from four stars to five stars. All right, so the next thing we can do is we can go to the edit profile. From here, you can change your information. You can change your password. So you want to do a new password here. And let's say they don't match. It'll come back and tell you they don't match. And then once they match, it'll accept it. Okay, you can also add a review. So let's say we want to add a review for someone named Frank and his phone number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And we'll say that this was remodeling and it was done on June the 1st. And we'll say that he added a sunroom to a house. And he did a, did a pretty good job on that. And then Frank, sunroom, simple and then submit. So then if we scroll down to the bottom down here, we can see the review right here, Frank added a center. Okay, so we'll scroll back up to the top. And we can choose to look at only our reviews or my reviews. So if we go here, you only see reviews created by me. And I can also edit or upload photos. And I can also add a review. And we can go to view messages, you see all the messages that I've sent or received. From here, I can reply to a message. And then if I go back to the home page here, I forgot to mention this earlier. I think the reviewer has a blue name here. If I click on that, I can send them a message. And then if I go back to my review, or my, sorry, my messages here, I have a, I have a question. And then the last page here is for contractor access. So if someone has an account and they're also a contractor, they can request contractor access. They'll fill up this form and then submit it. And then we'll go in and list them as a contractor. And once that happens, then they'll have the ability to post responses to reviews. And that's my application. Um, just to kind of talk about why I chose to do the customers list. A few years ago, I used to work for a small contractor that did window and door installations. Um, and they used to use a very popular review website to get most of their traffic for customers, um, which worked really well because 
they didn't have to spend a lot of money on advertising, which allowed them to offer lower prices and give the customers better deals. Well, a couple of years ago, that same review website changed their whole strategy and decided to make using the website free for all the customers and then start charging advertising dollars to the businesses or contractors. So when that happened, as you went in as a customer or user to search for a company, the companies that would show up highest on your list would be the ones that paid the most money in advertising dollars. So I kind of thought that that really took away from the whole spirit of the review website to begin with. So I decided to create this application so it's a little more pure and it's focused just on the reviews, just on what the customer says, and that's it. There is no advertising dollars involved or anything like that. So that's why I made this. Um, thank you for sitting through and listening to my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message. Thank you and have a great day.